Hello guys, uh, today I am going to use static initialization of OpenCV in my Android application. To do that, at first I need the OpenCV Android, uh, OpenCV SDK for Android. I can get it from here, opencv.org slash downloads. Okay, so I'll download the last stable version which is 2.4.10. So let's just download it. I have already downloaded it in my computer, so here it is. So I'll uh, keep it that way for the moment. At first, uh, to use the OpenCV in your application, you have to create a new folder under the main project directory that uh, project directory of your Android application create a new directory and name it libs and then go to the location where you downloaded the OpenCV SDK and go to the SDK folder and copy the Java folder to the libs folder that you have just created just paste it so now I will uh, rename the folder to OpenCV so that I can uh, I'm just trying to recognize the library. You can see it right here. So, refactory. Okay, so after renaming the folder, create a new file called p.gradle. This will be the Gradle file for this OpenCV library project. So for this build of Gradle file, I'll just use the code that I've used in my Android application. So I'm just copying and pasting the code. So the main things that uh, you need to consider are uh, the minimum SDK version and the target SDK version needs to be uh, the same as is it as it is in your and uh, applications build up cradle which is this for our project 14 and 21 and here it is 14 and 21 I think it's okay so we don't need to worry about it. Okay, so we have added the builder gradle file now. Go to the settings.gradle file of the project this here and include the library project. Which is under the libs directory and we have named it OpenCV and now same project So the gradle build has finished without any error so now, so now we can move forward so now uh, we will go to our projects app source and main directory and create a new folder and name it jni libs okay. so what uh, i'm going to do next is 
could go to the place where I downloaded the OpenCV SDK and go to the SDK folder and then the native folder and then the libs folder and copy all the folders under it and paste it in the gni libs directory that we just created so all the folders has been copied so now we are uh, ready to use the OpenCV library in our Android application but before that uh, we need to add the dependency as well so go to the project structure and go to the app module and then go to dependency and then go to this side So choose this module and press OK and apply the changes. <coughs> Wait for some time uh, to, until the kernel finishes its synchronization and building. Okay, so the kernel has finished building. So now we are ready to use the OpenCV library. And as I've said earlier, I will be using static initialization. So to do that, I will call the init debug function of OpenCV loader in a static portion. Okay, so if something goes wrong with our initialization will show our message or log messages so, so open simulator dot init debug so if everything is okay then print a message like successful okay so uh, but if it's not successful then also it should a load my ma log message it has failed so that we know that we failed in our approach okay so let's just run this application and see if we have uh, successfully initialized the OpenCV library for our application okay So I'm going to run the application in Genin Motion Emulator. So let's just wait for the application to open. Okay. 
okay so the application opened without any error so now we look for uh, our log information to see if our OpenCV library has been initialized successfully okay so now we can see that our OpenCV initialization was successful and now we are ready to use all the functionalities of OpenCV library thank you so much guys for watching hope you find it useful Bye-bye.